to the B0 Welcome to the B5 organ library video. In this video, I will go through the main features of the B5 organ. First, I will talk about the sound generation and then talk about the rotary speaker simulation. We have found a way to use the synthesis techniques, but we use samples as the sound source. The tone wheel organs are very complex in terms of how the sound is produced. There is basically a series of 91 dented wheels that rotate next to a small electromagnetic microphone and produce a tone close to a sine wave. Synthesizing this has been done a few times, but no other model uses samples, and they all lack the authenticity of the real sound of the tone wheels. Sampling has been done as well, but causes various problems. We have found a way to get the best of both worlds and replicate the mechanical behavior of the organ, but based on samples. Thanks to this technique, the drawbars can be changed while you play, and you get access to all of the settings available on the real machine. As you can hear, some frequencies are repeated. This is called the fallback, and is due to the fact that these organs only produce 91 frequencies. This is not enough to cover the whole range of the keyboard for all drawbars. We reproduced it and even allow you to go all the way down to the lowest frequencies that are initially reserved for the pedals. An important signature sound of the organs is the click it makes when you press a key. We sampled these clicks, carefully measured their timings, and even allowed the control of their volume. There is a series of nine contacts under each key that are not pressed at the same time. Each contact depends on the volume of the drawbars and the result depends on the velocity. Every volume change has been measured, so when you select a drawbar preset, you can be sure that it will sound just like on the real organ. This also applies to the normal and soft volume, and to the swell pedal. We modeled the whole percussion system and reproduced the original settings and also extended them a little. You can select slow and fast. and these times can be changed in the advanced preferences. You can change from second to third. and choose which harmonics played.
and choose that volume or even fix the percussion volume drop. The percussion system steals the drawbar. You can decide which one, or even avoid it to steal anything. The organ comes with six different vibratos. This vibrato is produced by a scanner vibrato and is not a simple vibrato. It can produce different vibratos or choruses at different frequencies. Recreating this effect is very hard and we decided that sampling it was probably the best way to get the original sound. The upper and lower manuals can be routed through the vibrato independently. We explain more in depth how the rotary speaker works on the web page. But it is basically two rotating sound sources. The horn that takes care of the high frequencies and creates a Doppler effect and the drum that only takes care of the low frequencies. The combination of this and the wooden box that they are in create a very complex volume, filter and pitch modulation. We measured all of this very carefully and UVI created an incredible rotary speaker simulation. The amount of modulation depends on the rotation speed and you can go from one speed to another or even break to get a more steady sound. You can change the default speed for the choral and the tremolo. And even accentuate the pitch modulation. The horn and drum volumes can be changed separately to simulate the recording proximity. The air will make the stereo image wider. The rotary speakers are usually recorded with pairs of microphones as the effect is stereo. You have the possibility to change that by making the horn and drum microphones mono or stereo. There are many different models of rotary speakers and they differ in size and position of the rotating elements. Some rotary speaker models come with a tube saturation that can be increased and even a reverb. In a standard organ, there are three keyboards, the upper manual, the lower manual, and the bass pedals. 
The upper and lower manuals are almost identical. The only difference is that the percussion system only works on the upper manual. The pedals only play 25 notes and usually have two drawbars. We added a third one just because we could. You can set a different MIDI channel for each keyboard or use splits to play everything on one. The string bass is a known modification that is applied to the pedals only. There are a few different ones, but the idea is that the sound will slowly decay when you release a pedal but if you play another pedal, that decay will be stopped. This makes it easy to create legato bass lines with the pedals. You can control the length of the sustain. Since we have a synthesis model, we can also have access to many tweaks, so we decided to add some of the most common modifications organ player likes to do on their instruments. First, you can change the volume of each drawer and of each tone generator. This means that the busy organ can sound like any organ, even one that is defective. Second, there are the usual modifications. Organ players sometimes don't use the pedals and need to use the bass on the left hand. You can do that for both the upper and lower manuals. This removes the fallback for the lowest octave and also gives the correct volumes for the first two drawbars. When you change the percussions from soft to normal, the volume of all the drawbars drops, which is why many jazz players don't use the normal position. We made this volume drop optional, and you can have the percussion volume as you want. The volume, decay, and the chosen harmonic of the percussions can be changed for each position. Another less known effect for the percussion is the recharge time. This value controls how quickly the percussion general envelope is restarted. The percussion system tells the contact of a drawbar of the upper manual, and by default, it's the ninth. We give you the option to choose which drawbar is stolen, or also to not steal any.
The Paradise Button refers to a broken organ used by Jimmy Smith on a few albums. The percussion on this organ did not decay. You can go through the 200 drawbar presets by using the previous and next buttons or selecting them from the menu. For live use, and just like on the original organs, there is a whole octave dedicated to presets for each manual. There are pre-assigned presets, but you can change them to have them ready for your song. Alright, that's it for this video. You can purchase the B5 organ from AcousticSamples.net. Thank you for watching! B5 organ <laughs> The B5 organ <laughs>